so you were clapping when you were taxiing in. Yes, I was. That Chadwick made a huge difference. I was able to be relaxed. Flew around for about 0.7 now, and uh, a couple takeoff and landings. Everything's working wonderfully. The vibrations are substantially decreased. So now we'll have to do some in-flight blade tracking, but we substantially changed the amount of vibration. And it was nice to stay airborne for so long and see that all the engine instruments and everything stayed where they needed to be. And uh, it was very, very much fun today. So uh, anyway, really enjoyed it. Blade tracking makes a difference. Hi everyone. So I know lots of feedback from the last videos. Everybody's saying, boy, the blade tracking, what's that vibration, et cetera, kind of thing. But that's what, you know, just got this helicopter finished. And that's a lot of the testing. So initially blade tracking was just set up on the ground using levels, measure, et cetera. Today managed to get a Chadwick on there, courtesy of the factory. So that was pretty exciting and uh, made a huge difference. So now we're actually dynamically tracking those blades and you could see one was way out. So managed, uh, took a one washer, brought that blade in. So huge difference on startup and at 3000 RPMs on the ground, pickup was just felt nicer. And then uh, it took off and flew for point, uh, almost 0.7 today was that much different. So uh, it was nice to stay airborne for that long as well. So what did we do? You may, you'll see some still pictures here and I'm gonna climb up so I can point out. Basically the Chadwick, what we do is we put a magnetic sensor up here. Right here we attach it and you can see each of the pitch links comes around. There's a bolt there. So this is a magnetic pickup there. And basically what it does is then you have a strobe light. And if you walk out here to one of the blades, go to your right over here, you can see we put on reflective strips on each blade. So see, this one is tilted to the left. One other blade is tilted to the right, and another one is straight. And what we do is adjust those pitch control links so that they're all in the same plane. And we got them pretty good today in the hover. Uh, I was flying around 85 knots, so a little bit of a shake there. So now it's a compromise. We'll go do some blade tracking in flight and adjust between the hover and where we want to fly the airplane. So I was really pleasantly surprised because the other thing I got fixed this afternoon, need to understand why yet, is airspeed was stagnating at about uh, 50 knots and it was driving me nuts. And I did notice that the uh, ground speed was much higher. So I was very, being very careful with the power on the last few flights. And today what I did was I disconnected the static pickup off of that Raven pedo tube. There's some interference there because immediately, as soon as I went into forward flight, I accelerated very quickly through 45 knots and then climbed. And uh, at 20 knots, man, at 20 inches of manifold pressure, 20 to 20.7 uh, or 21 inches, we're indicating about 85 knots now. And I did a quick ground speed check. It looks real close. So uh, we'll do some more uh, figuring that out as we fine tune some more of the tracking. But for now, lots of, lots of exciting things today. Unfortunately, I forgot to put a battery in the GoPro, so uh, we'll get you some more videos. Probably this week, tomorrow looks to be horrible weather-wise here in Atlanta. Anyway, thanks for watching. Great progress.